How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming and in this short RPG Maker MV tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Galve's Action Indicators plugin. It's a very small tutorial but it adds a little bit of extra polish to your project that you might want to have. So you may notice that I have a blue exclamation point hovering above the door on the end here and that's an action indicator. So if I if I walk away you can see that it disappears and as I go up to the door it's the indicator shows back up letting the player know that they can interact with this object. If we go up to the um, the desk here, we know we can interact with the desk to uh, initiate the, the you know the resting event. If we go to the save point, that indicator shows up to let the player know they can interact with the save point. But it's very very simple plugin to use, and it even has the option to use a plugin command to turn off that uh, all of the indicators if you want to do that. So if we go up to this, you see that we have an action indicator above the head of this NPC. If we interact with the NPC, we can uh, be prompt with the option to disable the action icons. We can say yes, and now we have no more action uh, indicators above their head. So it's very, very easy to use, and I'll show you how to do that. So what you want to do, I'll put a link in the description below. You're going to go to uh, Galv's site and get his action indicators plugin, and it's very, very easy uh, to use, like I said before. The parameters, let's go over them real quick. The Y offset is going to be how far uh, up or down the icon appears uh, away from the place uh, from the event that it's placed so if you add to the y it's going to go down if you subtract to the y it's going to go up and the z axis is the basically it's the layer that it's at so if you're using other plug uh, other plugins from gal like the layer graphics um, you can change the layer to have the indicator be below events or below uh, pictures that are drawn on the screen or above. So five is gonna be the top layer, so it's drawn above everything. Auto hide option is going to make it so that when the event, you're interacting with that event, all of the action indicators will disappear. So the little icon will appear, and then when you interact with it, it'll temporarily disappear until um, the event is done playing. And then the, finally, the icon opacity is how see-through that event, uh, or that icon is. So I recommend like around 200, but you can put whatever you want right there. Very, very short help file. It's super easy. That's why I wanted to make this short tutorial because it's a cool plugin and it's very easy to use and it adds a little bit of extra polish, right? So what we're going to do is make a comment on the events and add action icon ID. Let's copy that. And we're going to put the icon uh, ID of uh, that, we're, that we want uh, inside of our icon set for the ID here. And to disable or enable uh, all of them, you just use a plugin command, AI visible false to turn everything off, and AI visible true to turn them back on. So if we look at this event, we can see that we've got a comment that says action icon, and I just put 1111 for any icon. And then at the bottom, when it says, do you want to disable them, we're inserting a plugin command, which is over here on page three, plugin command. And I'm putting in AI visible false, which turns all of the action indicators off. Um, so how do you know what icon number to use? What if you don't know? Well, it's really easy. You can go to your I, uh, your items, your weapons, your skills, and then select a free slot, and you can see it says icon, and then it shows the number and what that icon is. So you can go and pick whichever icon you want. Let's just go to this lightsaber-looking one, and we can see that's 1415. So if we were to change this one to 1415, do that, 1415. Now when we hover over this one, it's going to show that lightsaber icon. Really, really easy to use. I thought it might be something you guys want to know about if you don't already know about it. Um, yeah, it's going to be a short tutorial for me. We can see she's got that lightsaber right there. But yeah, it, it's really good to add around for your town so that like, when you walk around the town, you can see that you can interact with the doors to go in the shops or you can interact with certain locations to start the shops or like save points or even... Even events that are below the character that uh, have no no art themselves, you can like make like a little, maybe give the player a shovel, here's an idea, you know, and then uh, it, there's no way that the player would know that there's something there, but what if they suddenly walk over it and then an action icon pops up, that could let the player know that there's something hidden below there, and, the, and if they press enter, you know, you can set the activation to um, uh, action button the, instead of uh, player touch they can be prompt with the option to use their shovel to dig up some new tre treasure or something. But yeah, what do you guys think about this plugin? Do you guys like this plugin? If you did, um, let me know in the comments below. 
Um, please give this uh, video a thumbs up if you enjoy these short RPG Maker MV tutorials. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. I make all kinds of RPG Maker MV tutorials, and I do first impressions and uh, videos on mostly RPG Maker stuff. But yeah, that's going to do it for me uh, today. Very short uh, video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.